Hello, welcome to Speed Sweat. Today is kind of like a combo between Fit and 15 and Speed Sweat because it's like 17-ish minutes long, um, but it'll probably end up being closer to 20 once I explain things. We are going to use a light pair of dumbbells. So I have fives here, and this is an all upper body workout, okay? So we're gonna do tons of triceps, tons of shoulders, tons of biceps. We're gonna kind of get a little bit of everything, even a little bit of upper back in there too. So grab your fives or whatever you feel like is a lightweight for you. Um, and we're gonna start with tricep kickbacks. So all of these moves are gonna have a main move that we're gonna do for like 30 seconds and then like some variations or like different moves for like 10 or 15 seconds, okay? So we're kind of gonna go through a few moves back to back. The first round might feel like, whoa, that's like a whole lot of information. I didn't transition quick enough. Don't worry, you're gonna get three rounds. So you'll get better at it in round two and you'll be perfect at it by round three. So first, just armpits, straight back, palms face in the whole time. Nothing crazy. Well, let's do it. Tricep kickbacks. Armpits straight back. <laughs> Selling needs to be in between my legs. It's very important to him. Armpits straight back. Squeezing those triceps, getting that lift. In 15 seconds, we're going to stay at the back, and we're going to pulse it. So you're going to try to get higher, higher, higher. 10 more seconds here. Really think about that mind-muscle connection. Use those triceps. In five, three, two, one, pulses. Keep those arms straight and just try to get them higher, 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 away from the butt. In five seconds, we're gonna hold it. Three, two, one, hold it. Keep it there. Whew, that burn. In five seconds, we're gonna squeeze them together. Three, two, one. One, bring them together and back out. Now don't touch them, don't make the elbows bend. Just like a very subtle little squeeze in and out. In five seconds, you get to rest. Three, two, one, rest, thank goodness. Okay, you've got 30 seconds. Next up, we're gonna do L raises. So one arm is gonna be forward and one arm is gonna be out to the side. Straight forward, shoulder height, straight out to the side. Palms face the floor. We come up, we shift to the other side and then drop it. Then come up on that side, shift back and drop it. Your second move, we're gonna hold it up, tap it in and out. Here we go. In five, in three, two, one, L raise, shift, and then drop. Keep that core nice and tight. If you notice like you're struggling or that body's really shifting with the arms, get wider in your stance, get lower. So bend those knees and brace the core. In 15 seconds, whatever side you're on, we're gonna stay there and we're gonna bend the arms in and out. Eight more seconds here. In five, three, two, one. Now come up onto one side, tap them to the chest, extend them back out. I want you to try to squeeze the triceps to extend them out. Three, two, one, shift to the other side, same thing, tap it in. Send it out, keep the body forward, so still face me. Three, two, one, and rest. Now Sully's tucking himself out in the mirror. <laughs> 30 seconds, next up, W opens. So the palms are gonna face the ceiling. We're gonna tap the dumbbells together and then pull them back, keeping the elbows pretty tight to your body. So you can kind of feel the bicep, the front of the shoulders and the back at the same time. Then we'll go into pulses, so we'll stay back and pulse, and then we'll go into flip into our side raise. W opens in five. Coming back between the legs. Three, two, one, tap, pull it back. Tap, pull it back. Keep the elbows pretty tight. They don't have to stay like right against your body if that's not comfy, but we just don't want them like way out here. 15 seconds down, 15 to go, and then we're gonna pulse at the back. In 10. In five. Three, two, one. Stay at the back, little pulses. Try to get further, 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 feeling like the back and the shoulders. In three, two, one. Flip it to a side raise, back to tap the elbows. Flip it and back. Palms up, palms down. Five seconds. Three, two, one. One, and rest. 30 seconds, next up, turned out curls. Guys, my arms are absolutely dying. If you have done the 45 minute workout, um, 
or wait, it's not in this week. Okay, spoiler alert for what's to come. Anyway, I just did an arm workout, so my arms are crushed already. Um, turned out curls, tap it and down, palm space forward the whole time. If you can get them behind your butt, that's where I want them because you're gonna feel a stretch. Here we go, five seconds, three, two, one. Palms forward, start and end by your butt and we're just curling them up over the shoulders. Now, this is the only one where it's a little bit different. Every single move in this trio is 30 seconds. They're all just gonna be curl variations. So right now we're doing a turned out curl. In 15 seconds, we're gonna turn it into a hammer curl. So we curl up over the shoulders, but the palm space in. In seven, in five, three, two, one, hammer curl. So now the palm space in towards your body, and you just curl them up over the shoulders. And then at the bottom, I want you to squeeze and flex those triceps. So we get biceps up, triceps on the way down. In 15 seconds, we have one more curl variation. It's gonna be your bicep curls. So the palms are gonna face forward in 10. In five, three, two, one, bicep curl. So palms face forward, all the way up, all the way down. Find a pace that works for you. So you can like really pump out these reps if your biceps are feeling good, or you can slow them down, focus on controlling that drop whatever works with the weight you have today and how your body is feeling. 15 seconds, then you get to rest, and 10. You know all the moves, this is our last move. So round one is done in five, three, two, one, and rest. In 30 seconds, we're gonna repeat the exact same moves with slightly shorter rest. So in round one, you had 30 seconds between each combo. Now in round two, we're just gonna have 20 seconds in each combo. So in 15 seconds, back to your tricep kickbacks. And 10, that was such a dramatic, delicious water. Five seconds, here we go. And three, two, one. Nice little bend in the knees, hinge the hips. And we're going armpits straight back. No swinging, you know all my spiels by now. All strength, no swing, all muscle, no momentum. Really get that lift with those triceps. In 10 seconds, we're gonna pulse it at the back. In seven, in five, in three, two, one. Take it to the back, little pulses. So arms stay straight, and we just try to go higher, higher, higher. Little pulses up in three, two, one, hold it. All you have to do is stay there. Try to keep the dumbbells away from your butt. Get that height. In five seconds, we squeeze it together. Three, two, one, together. Just little. They don't have to touch. We don't even want them to. In three, two, one, rest. 20 seconds, shake out those arms. Next up is your L raises. So we're doing one forward, one side, shifting, dropping, repeating on the other side. Your speed move is the taps in and out. And on those, I actually want you to squeeze the triceps. So obviously we're gonna feel the shoulders because we're there, but let's get the triceps too. Three, two, one, L raise, shift it, drop it. Same thing on the other side. Up, over, down. Shoulder height. Shoulders are down and back. Core is nice and strong. 15 seconds. Then we're gonna stay on whatever side you're on for 10 seconds for those bend in and outs. In 10. In five. In three, two, one. Stay on this side, tap it to the chest. Extend it out by squeezing those triceps. In five seconds, other side, three, Two, one, shift it over, tap it in, squeeze it out. Five seconds, three, two, one, rest. 20 seconds, W opens are next. So we tap, we pull it back. This would be a true W, but we're kind of like in a relaxed W. Your speed moves are pulses and then the flip to the side raise. In five, three, Two, one, palm space the ceiling, tap, pull it back. A nice speed sculpt for those arms. 
And trust me, this is all you need, especially for like a nice upper body circuit. Obviously, if you needed to get a full body workout in, maybe it'd have to be a little bit longer or add in like some cardio bursts or something, but for just sculpting the arms, this is like more than enough. We are gonna feel this tomorrow. In three, two, one, let's pulse it. Stay at the back. Now I want you to check in with your body. Biceps, shoulders, back. Five seconds and we flip it. Three, two, one. Flip it to the side, take the elbows back in. Whew. Keep those shoulders down and back. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. 20 seconds, neck up, neck, neck up. Next up is our curl sequence. 30 seconds for all three moves, so no speed moves. Um, but we have turned out curls to start, palms forward, start and end by your butt, then the hammer curls, then the bicep curls. So all that changes is really like where your palms are. In three, two, one, turned out curls. Start and end by your butt. If that doesn't feel good, like mobility wise, if that's like too big of a stretch for the front of the shoulders, that's totally fine. You can go like at the sides of your legs, in front. You're just gonna get like a bigger stretch, obviously, and like a little more shoulder activation coming behind. In 10 seconds, palm space in, hammer curls. In five, three, two, one hammer curls, palms face in, biceps up, triceps down. So don't forget about that tricep squeeze at the bottom. You know I love a good tricep squeeze. All about those triceps. In 15 seconds, we're going into your bicep curls. So all that will change is the palms will be forward instead of facing in. 10 more seconds here. And we are getting very close to being done with this whole circuit. Only one more round to go. Three. Two, one, bicep curls, palms forward, up and down. Let's burn out those biceps. You know the drill if you need to, get wide, get low, brace the core. You can always adjust that stance and it actually helps. Like it seems like it wouldn't, but just getting stronger and more stable in that stance and engaging the core is gonna keep the body out of it. 10 seconds, and then we get to rest. In seven, in five, in three, two, one, rest. 30 seconds, and then guess what? We're doing it again with shorter rest. So we did round one with 30 seconds rest. We did round two with 20 seconds rest. Round three is gonna be 10 seconds rest. So it's gonna be a pretty quick transition, but then we're done, okay? So in 15 seconds, tricep kickbacks. In 10, you still got time. Shake out the arms. In five, here we go, last time. Three, two, one. Armpits straight back. Let's get that lift. Let's finish off those triceps. The great news is we only have like four and a half minutes left in your workout, including rest. So it's gonna fly by. We only have 15 seconds left here and then we're gonna go into your pulses. In 10. In five. In three, two, one, let's pulse. Higher, higher, higher. Squeeze those triceps, get that lift, keep that head in line with the spine, nice flat back. In three, two, one, we gotta hold it. Stay there for 10 seconds, breathe through it. In five seconds, we squeeze together. Three, two, one, bring it together, back out. Together, back out. Just little. Three, two, one, rest. Quick rest, just 10 seconds, but any of you who've taken my class, you know I drop those weights no matter if we have two seconds. Into your L raise shifts. In three, two, one, let's go. L raise, shift, control that drop. L raise, shift, control. All about the shoulders, but in 15 seconds, we're gonna get the triceps in with those shoulders. We're gonna do our bend in and out, whatever side you're on, in 10. And you don't have to lock those arms out. You can have like a gentle bend in those elbows. Three, two, one, take it up, tap it in, extend it out. Five seconds on the other side. Three, two, one, shift it over. Keep that body forward. I know like the body wants to move with it. Keep facing me in five, three, two, 
one, rest. 10 seconds, W opens with our pulses and our flip is next. Five seconds, in three, two, one. Tap and pull it back. Whew, we've done so much work already. We only have a little over two minutes to go. 20 seconds here, then we're gonna pulse. In 15. And 10. Almost there. Feeling the biceps, the shoulders, the back all at once. Such a good move. In three, two, one. Pulse it at the back. Little pulses and just trying to get further back. So like really getting the back into it. In three, two, one. We got to flip it. Side raise. Flip it back. Side raise. Flip it back. If it feels like too much, do one and then the other. You can alternate. Three, two, one. One, rest. Holy smokes. Okay, we only have our curls left. Turn down curls, hammer curls, bicep curls. That's it. Three moves, 90 seconds, and we are out of here. Turn down curls in three, two, one. Shoulders down and back, core tight. Palms forward. Start and end by your butt if you can. Curl it up to the shoulders, all the way down. Feeling the biceps and the shoulders and a little bit of the triceps. Getting that extra little flex and squeeze at the bottom. We're more than halfway through it. 10 seconds, then our hammer curls. Seven seconds. In five, three, two, one. Hammer curls, palms face in. Curl it up over the shoulders if you can get there and then all the way straight at your sides. Flexing and squeezing those triceps. Biceps up, triceps down, body still. No swing, all strength, no momentum, all muscle. Yes, let's get some ripped arms for the holidays. 10 seconds, then bicep curls, palms are gonna be forward in five. Three, two, one, bicep curls. Come on, let's find that last move energy. Let's see if we can pump out those reps up and down. Yes, let's go, let's go. 10 seconds down already, 20 seconds to go. Keep that pace. Halfway there, 15 down, 15 left. Let's see if you can squeeze in at least five more. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. You did it. Great job. Thank you so much for sweating me with me this week. Um, let me know how you like the workouts and what you want to see next time. And have a great week.